Hi friends, this is Maureen Maloney and welcome to my doc journey. This week I wanted to talk about why documentary film is important. Um, if you are a filmmaker, it's important to be able to articulate this. It might seem like a really obvious topic, but I still run into people who don't necessarily understand the benefits of documentary filmmaking. For me, it's a lot to do with, you know, what's the alternative? to getting information about what's really happening in the world. And that is, of course, news agencies, which, you know, more and more are controlled by big conglomerations. And ultimately, it's a business. It's a business run by a corporation. And so there's some major limitations there. A lot of our news sources can be very limited in scope and have very specific opinions that they're trying to get across. Now, documentary filmmakers do also, but we have a wide variety. Anybody in theory, and especially these days with the, you know, so much availability of equipment, anybody can make a documentary film. And so you can get a wider range of opinions than you would get on a news source. Uh, news agencies, because they're trying to make money, they're only willing to put forth relatively small amounts of money for these news stories. And so what ends up happening is you don't get in-depth long-term reporting, which really, you know, the day-to-day -day types of events that we see on the news ultimately aren't that important. At the time, we think they're important. At the time, of course, the news blows them up but the things that are really important, that, that are really impactful, those things happen over months and years and decades. And it's really only documentary filmmakers that are spending years telling stories or even decades telling stories. The stories that you hear on the news, because again, they're so quickly done, there's a, there's a really fast turnaround, they tend to be shallow. And most of these subjects, probably all of these subjects, probably just about any subject in the world, really requires a nuanced conversation in order to understand what's going on. And I think a lot of the problems that we're facing in this country today are the fact that we're not having nuanced conversations about it. Everything is black or white, right or wrong. It has to be this way or that way. And th that's just, can we all agree that, that nothing in the world really works that way? Everything is shades of gray or different situations require for, anyway, it's important that we have more nuanced conversations. And the news stories simply don't allow for that. News agencies have to get their money from advertising, which means they're incentivized to over-dramatize things. There's that famous quote, if it bleeds, it leads. And that is more true since the age of 24-hour, seven-day-a-week news channels than, than it ever was. And so are we really learning the truth or are we just learning what's going to sell a commercial. All of these things leave a lot of holes in our knowledge, in our understanding of the world. And documentary filmmakers are, are filling in those holes. They're filling in the gaps. Um, they're telling the untold stories that are in places like Madagascar that are hard to reach um, or, or places where there are, are cultural barriers to telling a story documentary filmmakers are going in there and telling those stories. Oh, I, I just spaced the name of the film where the guy embedded in with um, Al-Qaeda, dang it, maybe I'll think of it in a little bit. You know, that's, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that documentary filmmakers are doing that a news agency just will never do. And allowing us to see perspectives that otherwise we would never be able to see. 
this is really, really important. And ultimately, for me, the thing that really separates documentary films apart is that they inspire real change. I think it's really important to understand how much power the media has, all media, any media. What we see becomes our reality. We really have to be vigilant about what we're seeing and how it's impacting us. Beyond the big issue docs, you also have personal docs, right? So, you know, uh, watching other people process their own stories can help us process our own stories. And one documentary that was really helpful for this for me was uh, The Stories We Tell by Sarah Polly. And she lost her mom at a young age and created this documentary to sort of fill in the holes. Uh, you know, the things that you never learn about your parent if you never knew them as, adu as an adult. I lost my dad as a young age, and it really uh, reflected a lot of things back to me. Oh yeah, I do try to fill in a lot of holes. Think, there's so many things about my dad that I don't understand that I'll never understand. And there is a need to fill in the gaps in my own memory and in my own understanding. And I guess ultimately the big thing is, do we really want corporate filters controlling all of the information that reaches us? We need to have a deeper understanding of the world. We need to encourage others to have a deeper understanding. We need to encourage nuanced conversations from a variety of people with a variety of backgrounds that ultimately represent the entire world that we live in. And that's kind of the crucial thing that documentary filmmaking does. Since I have a little extra time on this episode, I want to talk about uh, a, a webinar that I watched recently through Stage 32. And if you're not uh, familiar with Stage 32, it is an online uh, community of filmmakers they have webinars and um, you can just connect uh, kind of like LinkedIn, I guess, for, for filmmakers specifically, um, for actors and anybody in the film industry. So they had a webinar about how to pitch to Netflix. And it was very long. It was like three hours or four hours. I can't remember now, but it was really good and really informative Although I could tell, and you know, especially when it got to the end, what most people want to know is how to reach Netflix, how to actually, if you have a script or an idea, how to actually get to Netflix. And that they did not really tell you in the webinar. <laughs> what they did say about that was that you have to find an intermediary. So a, a production company or an agent. So the Stage 32 representative talked about how there are um, people on Stage 32 that you can connect with. There are producers and agents. Uh, so if you become a more active member on Stage 32, which I admittedly am not, if you become a more active member, then theoretically you could, you could potentially connect with these people. Um, I also know uh, film festivals are a good way to connect with people, especially the bigger ones. Here in Denver, we have Serious Fest in, normally in June, um, where a lot of people come, producers. And so, yeah, networking like that. What they did cover in this um, webinar was the specific sort of structures. And there, this was about this was, this was specifically about narrative television, but I think you can take a lot of his advice uh, for creating compelling characters and a compelling story. And I think if you really want a good documentary that's impactful, it's important to remember that you have to tell a good story and that you have to have good characters. So you really do want to kind of get into that narrative mind space. So I recommend going and checking out the webinar about pitching to Netflix, but just know that you're not going to get 
the magical connection. You know, you're not going to get an email address to send your idea to, anything like that. So、uh, that's my little review of the Netflix pitch webinar over at Stage32.com. If you have seen any great webinars or videos, tutorials, books, anything like that, I would love to hear about them. So, send them my way. You can share them on the My Doc Journey Facebook page. And in the meantime, I hope you're getting out there and being creative and having a great life. Talk to you later. Thank you.